Beyblade is some of your best work. Oh, hey, thanks. But learning the hard metal system is the real challenge. Don't worry, we'll all get the hang of it. Just like when we first learned to Beyblade. Hey, good point. Yeah. Those were great times. Uh-huh. It was so long ago. That's true. And yet, I feel like it was only yesterday. It's like starting over. Yeah. We need to try and recapture that old magic. Vega needs to be taught a lesson. And we're the teachers. Mm -hmm. <gasps> now then, let's get to work. Yeah! for a split second, you can lose control. Then I guess we better work on staying focused while we still have a few walls left. I still don't understand how a single moment of distraction can lead to such a loss of control. The hard metal system is complex. It draws strength from the Beyblader, then channels it directly into the Beyblade for increased power. So if you lose focus for even a moment, your Beyblade will spin out of control. Let me get this straight, dude. One mistake and our Beyblades are toast? That's just great. So if we don't master the new system quickly, we're doomed from the start. <laughs> hey, this isn't the first challenge we've ever had to face. There was a time we couldn't even launch a Beyblade. And look how far we've come. Tyson's right, dudes. We can do this. We just need to keep working till we get it right. Count me in even if we have to work the whole night. Yeah! Yo! Yeah. Huh? Grandpa? So, you dudes are feeling a little feisty today. Nothing a long training session won't cure. 
All right, then. Form a single line. Everyone gets a turn. I'll go first. It'll be my pleasure. Huh? huh? Wait, Daichi, uh, you shouldn't egg him on. He started it, so let me go finish it. Please try to listen to reason, Daichi. Even if we all teamed up together, we're no match for Grandpa. Oh, yeah? Well, I think Grandpa's starting to slow down in his old age. You wouldn't be the first person to make that mistake. <laughs> well, I guess some Let things never go. change. Sure is nice to be able to take our minds off the big match for a bit, eh, Raul? You said it, Emily. We've been training so hard lately, we've had no time to blow off some steam. Let me at him! Let me at him! <laughs> <laughs> it's a scary thought, but these are the only Beybladers I know with the skill needed to fully master the hard metal system. I disagree. Huh? Your friends have done a decent job adapting to the new system. I'll give them that, but it's a five-on-five five team battle, and you're still one player short. Let me see. Huh? Why? What do you want it for? You're kidding, right? Please tell me you don't really believe you're the only one capable of learning the new system. <laughs> We're all here for the same reason. Right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Gentlemen, if you please, let's get down to business. Have we managed to narrow down the field of finalists for next week's Justice 5 match? Yes. Here, take a look for yourself. Each competitor is ranked by their level of strength and skill combined with their overall win-loss record. I'll bring up the top five Beybladers based on all available data. Ah. If we're basing our decision solely on the data collected in the files, then these five players should be picked to represent Bega in the match. However, there are also other top Beybladers who have avoided the public eye and who remain unranked. It's always the geniuses who want to keep their gifts hidden. But I know that you'll continue to work with Brooklyn until you can break through his shell and convince him to join the team. He's important to the Bega project. Boris, I truly believe that discovering new talent is essential to our success, and making a final decision on the five-player team based only on information collected in a database can be risky. Are you suggesting that everyone be given a fair shot? Yes, I am. Hey there, sports fans! You ready for the ultimate showdown? The face of Beyblady may never be the same after next week's five-on-five -five team challenge between the Vega Pro League and the world champion Beyblader Tyson. Rumor has it that many of Tyson's opponents during the world championships have offered a battle by his side. But it remains to be seen which players Tyson will select for the final five-person team. They'll be facing off against the best pro players the Vega League has to offer. With the future of independent Beyblading hanging in the balance! Even now, Vega is preparing to kick off an open invitation tournament that will determine who makes the final cut for the upcoming Justice 5 match! Let's head over there and check it out, shall we? We have divided everyone into five blocks from A to E. The winner of each block will make the team. However, each block includes a top pro Beyblader. These are the best Vega has to offer. In order to beat them, you will need to display incredible strength, skill, and determination. Here are the pros you'll be facing. That's just great. What's the point if the winners are already decided? Man, Garland's in my block? No fair! No way! Talk about hopeless. Listen up. Huh? Huh? You're here to compete at the professional level. If you have any chance of success, then you must put aside your doubts and have absolute faith in your abilities. Now, who here has the will to win? Yeah, he does have a point. I can do this! I have just as much talent as the pros do! I know it! So, are you going to simply throw in the towel without even trying? Or are you ready to prove to me that you deserve a shot? Yeah! Brooklyn v. 
versus Kai. It's time. I promised Coach Hero I'd take part in the tournament. I must go. So, goodbye, friend. metal system would be this hard to learn. We're all strong Beybladers, and yet we can't get the hang of it. What gives, huh? Hey, don't get discouraged. Lee, you have to maintain your focus. Everybody, clear your minds. Huh? Try to block out all distractions. I think your mind's a little too clear. <laughs> You're drooling, Daichi. I am not! <laughs> Quit laughing, you! It's not funny! I'm feeling much Cut more clear-minded already! Hey, guys! Come quick! Huh? They're showing the Bega qualifying tournament on TV! No way! is ever gonna beat that guy. He's way too good. My darling Ming Ming. The winner for the third round for Block D is Garland. Blocks A and B are now preparing to kick off their final round. Perfect. Everything is proceeding exactly as we had planned. The Vega team has all but been decided on. Yes, but we already knew who would make the final team. So what was the point of holding a team qualification tournament anyway? The point? I would have thought it was obvious. Uh... These candidates know they aren't in the same league as the Vega pros, but they're giving it their best shot anyway. That kind of spirit might be just what they need to take their game to the next level. One of these young players might turn out to be the next Tyson. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. This tournament is important. It shows that Vega is committed to discovering new talent. We know our pros will make the team, 
But by doing it this way, the public will see that we gave every candidate a fair shot. And of course, there's always the possibility that a new Beyblading sensation will suddenly emerge to take his place among the elite. <laughs> The chances of that ever happening are extremely slim, but as long as these young bladers believe they have a shot at being a star, they'll continue to flock to Vega. Ah. The best part? Eventually we will discover the next Tyson, and Vega will finally dominate the world of Beyblading, making us all rich and powerful beyond our wildest dreams. <laughs> No surprises so far. Let's see how my hero of tomorrow is progressing. Hey, come on! What's the big idea anyway? Stop dodging and let me hit you! Huh? Uh, I prefer not to. Sure. What's Brooklyn waiting for anyway? It's me. <sighs> it's all over. Brooklyn is the winner. Oh no. <laughs> Of course. We knew he'd make it to the finals. What's your deal? Uh -huh. You don't fight. You just dance around. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's quieter that way. I don't like all the noise. <sighs> I guess it's down to these two. I've been waiting for such a long time for this moment. Now, we'll see if my planning finally pays off and Brooklyn earns the last remaining spot on the Vega Bladers team. From there, it's just a matter of making sure the entire world is watching when Brooklyn defeats Tyson. Because Brooklyn has no existing game data, he's still a complete unknown. The public will assume that he came to Vega as an amateur and we transformed him into a champion. Every amateur babe leader in the world will be begging us to do the same to them. We'll be legendary. Uh, of course, I'm getting ahead of myself. Brooklyn must still defeat Kai in order to set my plans in motion, and Kai won't go down easy. But I'm sure he's up for the challenge. After all, he does have a great coach. The Block E finals are starting in three, two, one! Let it rip! It looks like Brooklyn is playing it safe again with a purely defensive strategy, hoping to simply outlast Kai and be the last man spinning! So you don't like noise, huh? Too bad, because I'm about to crank up the volume. I don't know what's in this for you, Amy, but I'm going to take your blader down. Hard and fast. Now, bronzer attack! <laughs> wow, not bad. No way! Hey, that was quite an interesting attack. Let me try. No way! He used Kai's own attack! Wow, too cool! <laughs> My move! You stole it! Imitate! 
imitation is a form of flattery. Sorry, Kai. As strong as you are, Brooklyn shows more potential than any Beyblader I've ever seen. Ha, ha, ha.